All right, so, so as we said before, disaccharides are uh, a, a carbohydrate with two monosaccharides linked together. All right, they are born. They are formed by an ether bond between the uh, two monosaccharides that we call a glycosidic bond. All right, and so for instance, uh, three really common uh, disaccharides would be one that is uh, formed between glucose and fructose. That makes good old regular table sugar, which is sucrose. Now when that uh, uh, glycosidic bond is formed, it is actually formed uh, with the loss of water. So sucrose plus H2O. Water is also one of your uh, products. If two glucose molecules form a glycosidic bond, that makes the disaccharide maltose. And of course, when that glycosidic bond is formed, there's a loss of water. And then last would be the uh, formation of lactose, which is a glucose plus a galactose. And of course, lactose is found in a lot of dairy products. And again, water is one of your products. Uh, when monosaccharides form disaccharides, or even when any uh, carbohydrates link together to make a uh, disaccharide or polysaccharide, uh, that is called a condensation reaction. Basically, you're condensing smaller carbohydrates into form more, uh, to form bigger uh, disaccharides or polysaccharides. If the reverse is, occurs, if, say, lactose uh, combines with water to break that glycosidic bond, that is called a hydrolysis reaction. And this can occur in, for polysaccharides as well. We'll talk a bit more about that later. Okay, a big difference uh, between uh, disaccharides um, and a very important feature is what type of bond they make. Uh, and it's dependent on whether which isomers form the linkages. Okay, uh, over here we have a lactose molecule. Okay. Uh, the anomeric carbon on the right uh, of the disaccharide is, has a hydroxyl group in the up position, so this would be a beta lactose. And the other very important um, feature that you need to discuss when naming disaccharides or any polysaccharide is the linkage. Uh, this uh, lactose um, formed from the uh, beta galactose, beta D galactose, uh, with a uh, glucose molecule. And since that beta uh, hydroxyl group formed that linkage, this is called a 1,4 excuse me, a beta 1,4 glycosidic bond. Because the beta form of the anomeric carbon on the galactose formed the glycosidic bond with the fourth carbon on the glucose. For maltose in the middle, again, this it has an anomeric carbon with a hydroxyl group, so it's chiral and it's in the up position. So this is also 
beta maltose. Uh, this glycosidic bond formed from the alpha glucose forming the glycosidic bond between for, with the fourth uh, carbon on the other glucose molecule. So since this is an alpha that comes from the alpha uh, hydroxyl group, we call this the alpha 1,4 glycosidic bond. Now the linkages between a beta and an alpha glycosidic bond are going to be very important. Uh, it turns out that that leads to uh, metabolism issues between, uh, say, starch versus cellulose. One we can eat, one we can't eat. And the only difference is the type of glycosidic bond between the monosaccharides. Uh, you can see that this sort of goes into a, is in an up uh, configuration. This glycosidic bond is in a down configuration. And if you remember, the hydroxyl group that was down was alpha, and the hydroxyl group that was up was beta. And that's what helps me figure out what type of linkage is between these two monosaccharides to form these two disaccharides. Now for sucrose on the right, it turns out that this was, here's sucrose. And it turned out that this uh, is a bond between two anomeric carbons. And so there's actually two um, ways that this could link up, and so we have to sort of name this glycosidic bond with both configurations, or show, tell us what both of these configurations are. So the hydroxyl, hydroxyl group on uh, this uh, glucose molecule was in the down position, and so that of course is an alpha carbon. The hydroxyl group on this anomeric uh, fructose was in the up position, and so that was a beta fructose. And so this is actually an alpha beta 1, 2 glycosidic bond. And that's the big difference between all three of these disaccharides is the linkage. Um, the linkage from uh, lact on lactose was in the beta configuration. The linkage between maltose was in the alpha uh, glycosidic bond. And the uh, linkage between the two monosaccharides for sucrose was actually an alpha and a beta. And so it's alpha beta, one, two. And of course the one, two is that this is the uh, one carbon and this would be the number two carbon on the fructose uh, monosaccharide.